From Trustpilot, Filmora's Feedback Forum, Filmora Official Channel, Big Filmora Channels, even from my own Filmora community, I have decided to collect together major features that Filmora users are requesting on a daily basis, and they are expecting to see those features in Filmora 15. Before we check out the most requested feature by Filmora community, I need to say this. Filmora team, we have a catch-up to do. As Filmorians, we have competition, so it's time to start releasing features that make Filmora great. At SJ Uncovered, I just hope they bring 3D camera in next update. At Rayx 66, 3D camera is missing. I wish Filmora would add 3D editing. If only Filmora gets the 3D camera, the edit's bra is going to cook. It's going to be crazy. Undeniably, this is the most requested feature from Filmora users, and I vote for that too. And here goes the following one. At Mo Sabalo, the only thing I miss about Filmora is that you can't use two sequences at the same time. At Rick J. I hope Filmora will support importing previous created timelines in a current timeline as indicated. Timelines. All this and you still can't have more than one timeline per project. At Major Editing. Day 3 of asking Filmora to add custom ease so we can make our own easy graphs. Can I get something like a Puppet 2 in After Effects? It would be very helpful for VFX and charts for fun. Alright, so I didn't get enough screenshots about this tool, but trust me, it's one of the most requested feature by Filmora users. So this is all about the pen tool, or the freehand drawing tool. Now this one is not really good, but I will just read it anyways because it's Filmora users' concern. At Jackson, credits get exhausted very fast. Hi, thanks for the post, but the big trouble you need to pay for all AI too expensive. Filmora AI subscription. As a fan of Filmora, this is getting scary. Everything become almost pay to win. And where is the 3D camera feature? Is it time to learn Da Vinci? At Don V Tutorials, I agree with the comments. To use most of the features, you have to pay extra. And with more and more features behind a paywall, you have access to 40% of the software. And that's all about the AI credits beta. And this next statement is about keyframes. Let's hear it. I also recommend making it possible to right-click on keyframes and ease them straight from the control panel without having to open the keyframe panel on the timeline. Oh, listen to this. The keyframe panel drives me crazy because I always accidentally press it when clicking on clips. I vote for this too. I don't know how many of you guys can relate to this user's concern. Thank you so much at Protechia, friends, for your contribution. Here's another user from the feedback forum of Wondershare Fumora. It's quite a long list of expected features right here. Number one is the 3D camera. Number two, the freehand pen tool. Number three, the glass morphing, shape morphing, anchor point, and blah, 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 blah. The rest you can read on your own. All right, let's check again people who wrote more than one comment. At VFX with RAM, you said here, track meta key, attach audio to video. Keyframes need more smoothness, custom shape drawing, advanced color grading, need more plug-in support. Let's move on, and this is the most asked question. When is Filmora coming? At 5. Studios. Filmora 15 beta builds, please. At Red Schemed. Is Filmora 15 this month? At official Alex Oliver Reyes. Waiting for Filmora 15. Just waiting for Filmora 15. All right, guys. Now, including my own suggestions. With all these comments that we have been reading here, my list of top 10 most requested features by Filmora users goes like this. Number one is the 3D camera feature. Of course, you have seen how almost everyone is talking about that feature. All right, so number two is the custom pen tool. All right, so this is going to be really helpful. You can use it to take your motion graphics editing to another level. Number three on the most requested features by Fumora users is the multiple timeline editing. All right, guys, this is going to make things easy. I mean, you will be able to edit multiple projects at once and I fully support that request. Number four is one of the most important ones. We need better captions templates in Filmora. I mean, CapCut have better captions templates than we do, and it doesn't mean CapCut is better. No, Filmora is still good in terms of features, but you know there are some little things that we also need, like captions templates. Filmora must do something, or else it's not looking good. Number five. Of course you find this in almost every comment section of a Filmora video, and this is all about the AI credits battle. So I have just summarized it as less AI credits features. Number six. The keyframing panel. 
Now the complaint here is, is there should be another way to access it even without opening in the timeline. Like this user said, we at least want to be able to right select the keyframes and then ease them in or ease them out like we used to do in Filmora 13. And while we are still on keyframes, we have seen a couple of comments requesting the keyframes in the text advanced tab. All right, we need keyframes in the text advanced tab. And we also need to be able to apply ease in and ease out graph on those keyframes as well. Number seven, this is one of the most important as well. More professional color grading tools. Number eight is the motion blur. All right, now when I say the motion blur, it doesn't mean there's totally no motion blur options in Filmora, but you also have to go through the effects, search for motion blur, apply it on your clips, but we want the inbuilt motion blur like on the properties, you know, like Premiere Pro and other programs. Number nine, we need more professional plugin support. We appreciate the Boris plugin and the new Blue Effects plugin. We want more, okay. And of course, the last one, the most, the frequently asked question is, when is Filmora 15? Thank you so much, Filmora, for watching this video and deciding to consider your users' concerns. And I believe, guys, maybe we may not get all of these features at once, but we are going to get some of them. And we really need to appreciate Filmora team for the hard work. And until I meet you in the next video here, peace.